Monday morning and 31 public universities still remained deserted. The striking dawns from 31 public universities kept off their workstations over the controversial collective bargaining agreement, which they weren't signed, registered in court and implemented. But this strike will last a longer period unless the government and IPCCF gives a counteroffer sooner. We have asked our members to stay put as we fight for our rights and we believe our sacrifice will pay off in the end. We are not going back without a counter proposal on the table. We will strike and we will strike and we will strike. So we are telling our members, strike like you have never gone on strike before. Strike as if you'll never strike again. But a tough talking education cabinet secretary, Amina Mohammed, would hear nothing other than the lecturers being in class as directed by the industrial court before negotiations on the controversial 2017 2021 CBA begins. We are ready to engage, and I assure all stakeholders of the government's determination to come up with a lasting solution to the perennial standoffs arising from CBAs every so often, in fact, every four years. We are ready 24 hours, even today, and because we have got experience in negotiating, we can negotiate this CPA within one hour. If we are called right now, whether it's in air, whether it is underwater, whatever, we are more than ready to sit and talk. But there must be meaningful talks, not just exercises in futility. <laughs> And with the strike having entered its 40th day, lecturers' representatives would call the bluff of the Interpublic Universities Council's consultative forum after they directed that dons who failed to report to work by Monday 9 a.m. be sacked. It is not the government, neither is it the respective vice chancellors, to tell those members who are striking to back off. It is the union that called for that strike that will directly tell members to stop the strike. We will do that after we have signed the return to work formula. No one has authority to tell university workers to report to back to work except the union through the Secretary General. The union asked members to stay the course of fighting for the dignity of dons. The council says the strike continues unbated despite there being goodwill from all stakeholders to address the matters. University Academic Staff Union Secretary General Constantine Wasonga accusing the government and inter-public universities council's consultative forum of alleged non-committal. Our wish IPCCF and government could give this issue priority. If they really care about our students, let them give this matter remarkable urgency. We cannot negotiate without a counter-proposal, my dear colleagues. You can only negotiate when you have the two documents, the proposal that you are, you are given and the counter-proposal that you receive after you have looked at the proposal. These guys have not done anything. So whom are they lying to? Until the demands are fully met, the lecturers say the hands remained tied and will not be resuming their normal duties. Solidarity forever. Brenda Zedaradido, Channel One News. Solidarity forever for the union makes us strong.